Hi guys, how are you doing and welcome back. Not long ago, I showed you guys how I take a specific router with me when I go with vacation because I am using that router to set up a Wi-Fi network for all my devices. On that router, there is a VPN configuration which, which is connecting back to my own network at home. So this router, this is the GLINet Barrel AX router I'm using. And what it does, it connects the router, that GLINet router connects to the hotel Wi-Fi. And now all my devices are connecting to the GLINet router. I have my own VPN setup on the GLINet router. Everything is fine. Life is good. But in some cases, uh, in my experience at least, I find that that GLINet router is not able to detect that public network, that hotel Wi-Fi on which I need it to connect. That hotel Wi-Fi is showing up perfectly fine on my iPad, my iPhone, on and on my laptop, but the GLINet Barrel AX is not able to pick it up. There is a specific setting which will resolve th this issue for you, and that setting is not in the general interface, it's in the advanced interface. I will show you how to adjust it and make sure that your GLINet router is now able to see every hotel Wi-Fi and public network you need it to connect to. Let's get into it. All right, so this is the default interface of the router. So you're in your hotel, you started up the router. This is the IP address you connect to default. This is the default IP address. If you have configured something else, you know what that IP address should be. So you connect to the router and now you want to set it up to connect to the hotel Wi-Fi. So you go on the repeater part here, click on connect, and the router will now start scanning for no public networks, right? So the hotel Wi-Fi should show up here. So you can click on it and select it and connect the router to it. But what happens is the hotel Wi-Fi is not showing up here. It's showing up fine on your iPhone, on your iPad or on your uh, mobile device, but it's not showing up here in the router. So there is something wrong or misconfigured on the router. So what I do is adjust a specific advanced setting. And that has to do with the country because the country on the radio detects what frequencies can be scanned for Wi-Fi networks. And if you click on system, you will see a time zone here. This time zone has no effect on that router setting, that radio setting, because that's an advanced setting. So for the time zone, you should set the time zone, of course, to the time zone where you are. But we need to enter the advanced settings of this router. How do we do that? Let's click on advanced settings here. And now you can see that there is a URL displayed. So let's click on that. It will open up a new tab and I'm already logged in. Let's log out for a second so you can see the actual interface. So this is the actual interface to log in on the advanced settings. Log in with the same password you're using to log into the default admin panel. So click on login. And now we need to go to network and then wireless. As you can see here, there are two wireless radios enabled. One is for the 2.4 gigahertz and one is for 5 gigahertz. This is the place we need to adjust that setting. So if you click on edit for the first one, click on advanced setting and now change the country code here to US. This will make uh, sure that the router has additional frequencies it is scanning for and it will then be able to detect uh, the Wi-Fi networks. So change the country code to US, click on save, do the same for the other radio, just select it here as you can see here, click on edit, go to the advanced tab and change the country code to US. Click on save and after that make sure that you click on save and apply. Not only on save, save will save the setting, but will not apply it. We need to save it and apply it. When you've done that, I usually go back to the admin panel and reboot the router from here using the button above top right uh, corner. After the reboot, come back to the router, log in, go to the internet tab, and then click on repeater. Now it should be able to detect those hotel Wi-Fi's, which were previously not showing up here. Basically, that is the setting we need to adjust in order to let the radios of your GLINet router scan uh, more frequencies and 
be able to detect the Wi-Fi networks and connect to them. This is a setting which is not in the general admin interface. You need to dive in into the advanced interface and also make sure that the setting that you that it is enabled or that you enable it after you do a firmware upgrade or if you reset your router, it will go back to the default setting, of course. Go back to that advanced interface, select uh, the wireless interfaces and change the country code to a country code which allows more frequencies and thus allows the radio to see more frequencies and um, connect to them. Now, let me know in the comments how you are using a travel router, what specific scenarios you are running into, or you're running into some trouble, some configuration issues. And I'm curious to know how you guys are using a travel router to keep your internet traffic secure and safe while traveling while on the road. As always, don't forget to click on the like and subscribe buttons below this video. It helps out my channel a lot. And take care. See you next time. Bye.